Hi friends, we are in Portugal, specifically Porto. We've been here for a little bit over a week, about eight days, and we've had so many amazing things to eat and drink, and we decided we want to start going ahead and sharing that with you guys. There's so much to show you. There's so many places that we haven't been to yet. So today, uh, we are going to stop by the Majestic Cafe. It is this beautiful grand restaurant here in Porto on uh, San Catarina uh, Rua. And uh, we're going to have some coffee and some breakfast pastries. So can't wait to show you guys. Come and join us. Alright, so we're inside the Majestic Cafe right now and immediately upon entering the restaurant you can, it's very clear how majestic it is and beautiful with wood carvings and marble tables, the grand piano behind me, everyone, all the servers are dressed to the nines. Um, this is definitely a time to come on the weekday because we passed by here over the weekend and it was jam-packed out the door. So I'm really excited to take a look at the menu and try something. All right, so our pastry has arrived. I ordered the torrija, as said in Portuguese and in Spanish. Or in English, it is a French toast. So it is nice slice of bread, dredged in egg and sweet stuff, fried, and then it looks like we have like a fruit um, syrup over it with cinnamon on the side and some dried um, raisins and walnuts on it. That's the perfect thing you want to be eating while drinking coffee. It's crunchy, flaky, not heavy on the egg. It's delightful. And with the ambiance in here, it just feels like the right thing to be eating. It matches perfectly. I see why it's their delicacy. I'm gonna get a little bit this time with the raisins and pine nuts. Oh my God, this sauce is so good. Some pine nuts, some raisins, a little bit of cinnamon. You can just make a concoction here for yourself. <laughs> I could eat this every day. This sauce is just mm, incredible. It's silky warm, sweet, but it's, it's just not overwhelming for whatever reason. It's just perfect. Buttery for sure. That's probably what's evening out the sweetness in it. It's excellent. Okay, so we were on our way to Delta Coffee to get a pastel de nanda. But on the way, as we were making our way over there, it's literally right around the corner, we noticed this beautiful little market. Um, it's called Aperola do Boliao, and um, it's very tight, little market, very dark in there, and I want to see what's in there. Maybe get a pastry, a little, little snack, before we make it over to Delta. Let's check it out. Okay. Aquelas ali, cortas assim. Ok. Cortas assim o buraco. E se corta, ok, em trocitos. Ok, ok, ok. É o mesmo. Quero levar o lomo. Lomo, sim. Assim. Assim. Sim, sim. Voy a seguir pinando. 
escuchando. Sí, continúa, sí, sí. started in 1917 and it's still going strong today if you get a chance you must stop by there and while you're at it just across the street we're talking super modern 2023 Mantegaria it shares a joint space with Delta Coffee House experience so you're gonna get the best of both worlds here you're gonna have the pastel de nata the traditional iconic dessert of Portugal and then you're gonna get some of the best coffee and tea you may ever have in your life they take it extremely seriously here and if you ever wanted to try any modern type of coffee brewing techniques Aeropress P60 Chemex balloon which I'm just learning about right now you can have it here and they take it very seriously so you're gonna want to try it have here is the pastel de nata and I'm just gonna hold it to the camera a little closer so you can hear the crunch kind of ratatouille style doesn't that sound amazing so I've had a couple pastel de natas while we've been in Portugal and this is by far the crunchiest I didn't put cinnamon on here, but you still taste it. it. Makes you wonder how they layer it into their pastry cream. It's so delicious. The crunch and flakiness of the pastry is out of this world. It makes sense why the store is called the Butter Shop, Mantegaria. Something that I love about this specific pastel de nata is how silky and creamy the custard is. This egg custard is mixed and warmed to perfection because it's so smooth and silky. Sometimes you get more egg custards that are a little bit more grainy, which they're still delicious, but they really, really get it right here. So. I absolutely love this. This might be my favorite one in all of Porto. To drink, I got myself a black tea. I would naturally get coffee, but I just had an amazing Americano at Majestic Cafe, so I'm gonna pace myself and have some black tea this round. Alright, moving on from Mantegaria and Delta Coffee House. Just down the street is Mercado do Bolial and it is a open-air market selling fruit, vegetables, um, port wine, seafood, fish, meat, anything you would need is here. So we're just gonna take a nice little walk through and um, walk off our pastel de nata and torrijas. <laughs> I'm 
grabbing some tangerines to take back home so we can make some orange juice. And I'm just looking for kind of the ones that are a little bit on the softer side, meaning that they're definitely ripe and juicier. This is a good one. All right. I think about two, four, six should be enough for us. Look how beautiful this lettuce is. It's so fresh and crispy. Oh, it's gonna make an amazing salad. Still on the vine. Beautiful grape tomatoes. Obrigada. So we're at a fresh pasta stall. Uh, it looks like they'll cook it for you and serve it to you right here if you would like to, or you can buy some of their dry pasta um, and their fresh frozen pasta so you can take and make at home. We're gonna take some for home. Uh, we wanna do about like three dinners this week at least. Yes. Alrighty, so we got the spinach papadeli from Masas e Temperos, the Bolia. And I'm very excited. The very nice woman let us know that we should boil this in salted water for two minutes, pull it, and then we can season it however we'd like. So I think we're gonna do some garlic and olive oil, nothing too crazy because I really, really want the flavor of the pasta to stand out. Uma. Look at these beautiful country bread loaves just like bursting from the yeast and the fermentation. We uh, ordered some sliced pork at the um, butcher shop here. Honestly, we didn't really know how to order it because it was just a large piece of meat. We didn't realize that she would slice it for us to order. So she went ahead and sliced it for sauteing. Um, and I'm very excited. She was very helpful since our Portuguese is very bad. <laughs> uh, before we leave, we want to try the Ginha. Um, they have a stall here at the Mercado. So we're gonna go ahead and try that before we head back. Um, not very familiar with what's in it. I believe it's like a, a cherry type of uh, cordial. So I'm excited to try it. Já fez a conta quanto é que você quanto é que você dá para tapa? Ah, mas eu não vou na tapa. Dois? Obrigado. Obrigada. Alright, so the Ginha here is served in a chocolate cup. No waste. So, no waste here. No That's so good. It's like a the inside of a cherry cordial, but better. Now let's eat the cup. <laughs> Perfect compliment.